few weeks ago, we talked about how journalist Walker Bragman blew the lid off of a scandal in the DNC where they are still funneling money that could be going to state parties to Hillary Clinton's super PAC, Onward Together. And now that the story has been picked up by The Intercept and published by Walker Bragman and Michael Sonato, well, state party leaders are pretty pissed off that Hillary Clinton is still getting all of this money, and they're requesting a refund. So according to Daniel Marins of HuffPost, in February of 2017, the DNC agreed to pay Clinton's group onward together $1.65 million for her campaign email list, analytics, donor data, and related items, The Intercept reported on Wednesday. The cache of material was worth more than $5 million. Clinton's campaign made an in-kind donation of resources worth $3.5 million, and the DNC paid for the rest. Now, a number of Democratic Party officials, including some state party chairs and DNC members, want Clinton to retroactively donate the campaign materials to the DNC and return the money that the party organ gave onward together. She should return the money for the love of the Democratic Party to the DNC for its use, said Alabama Democratic Party chairwoman Nancy Worley, who supported Clinton during the 2016 primary. Wisconsin Democratic Party chairwoman Martha Lanning and Missouri Democratic National Committee man Curtis Wilde likewise called on her to retroactively donate it and return the payment. And Nebraska Democratic Party chairwoman Jane Klebe, who supported Senator Bernie Sanders in the 2016 primary, argued that Clinton could also contribute the equivalent money to state Democratic parties. Other DNC officials, including at-large member Brian Wabi and Kansas Democratic National Committee man Chris Reeves, welcomed an in-kind donation but stopped short of asking for it. It would be a Christian thing to do, Wabi said. Nick Merrill, a Clinton spokesman, defended the price tag on Thursday on the grounds that the DNC has already reaped far more than it paid for the email list in fundraising so far. Paying a rental fee for use of an email list is common practice, and in this case, the DNC has raised over $30 million with it. An 1,800% return on their investment, Merrill wrote in an email to Fox News. The DNC purchased the email list to own rather than renting its information. Zochino Hinojosa, a DNC spokeswoman, agreed that the DNC had gotten a return on our investment and more since obtaining all of the lists and data. James Zogby makes a phenomenal point about this. He states, Back just a few months ago, when they were trying to pressure Bernie Sanders to turn over his email list, they weren't asking to purchase his email list or rent his email list. They just wanted him to give up his email list. They were acting as if they were entitled to it and that Bernie Sanders was the bad guy for not handing it over willingly. But here, they're paying Hillary Clinton for this list. And... If I'm not mistaken, they actually praised Hillary Clinton because she turned over her email list and they tried to vilify Bernie Sanders because he wouldn't. Meanwhile, come to find out, Hillary didn't just willingly turn over her email list. There was money involved. She made a lot of money. So there's this huge double standard going on where progressives are required to comply with any and everything that the DNC wants, but when it comes to Queen Hillary, yes, your highness, we're willing to pay you millions of dollars for this list, and really, we should be paying you to bottle up your farts and sell them to us so that way we can huff them on a daily basis because we love you so much. I mean, it's maddening. And another absurd angle to the story that we found out about is that it wasn't Tom Perez who actually initiated this agreement with Onward Together. Guess who it was? It was Donna Brazil. So she becomes the interim DNC chair in 2016. She finds out about this JFA, this joint fundraising agreement that she ended up blowing the lid off of and revealing to us all in 2017. And what does she do? One of the last things she did was sign this agreement so that way the DNC would be turning over more money to Hillary Clinton's campaign. And Donna Brazil is talking about how state parties were robbed and Hillary Clinton, you know, she, she just had so much control, she couldn't even release a press release. And yet she still decided to sign this agreement with Hillary Clinton's super PAC. Donna, you do realize how bad this makes you look, right? You do realize that there will now be calls again for your resignation because you can't be trusted. Yes, I commend her for 
basically exposing this JFA that Debbie Wasserman Schultz signed with Hillary Clinton. But you go and sign another agreement with Hillary Clinton's super PACs, basically making sure Hillary Clinton is still financially connected to the DNC. I mean, what is wrong with you? Why would you do something like that? Especially after complaining. That makes you a hypocrite, Donna. Why? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get these people. They're not honest actors. I don't even understand what motivates them. It's irrational. She complained about Hillary Clinton's control over the DNC, and then before she leaves, she unilaterally signs another agreement with them. I mean, come on. And Tom Perez, he's the DNC chairman. Why not protest this? He certainly changed um, what I believe is the um, the dates that they're paying Hillary Clinton. So I think he made it less frequent that they would be giving her the payments, from what I understand. Um, that's not clear to me, but I mean, he, he's still he's still paying for the list. And Hillary Clinton is robbing parties, and she knows firsthand that parties don't have funds. She talked about how the DNC was bankrupt. Come to find out she was the one who bankrupted it along with Obama, but she's still robbing the DNC for this list. Hillary Clinton's list is not worth that much money, yet they paid that much money for it anyway. Not because they wanted it, but because they wanted to cultivate loyalty with Hillary Clinton still. Because Hillary Clinton, even though she's out of power, she still has a lot of sway and influence over Democratic Party politics. So, of course, they want to make sure that they're still greasing Hillary Clinton's palms, even if they know that this is going to hurt the party. So, I mean, this party never ceases to amaze me. The DNC is an organization that there should be 100% turnover. Fire every single person, just start over fresh. This agreement should not exist. And the fact that this isn't another national scandal, to the extent that I thought it would be, it's mind-boggling to me. Hillary Clinton has got to stop. Democrats have got to cut the cord from Hillary Clinton once and for all. This is hurting the party. This is hurting state parties. And if you truly care about a so-called blue wave in November... You need to make sure that Hillary Clinton has nothing to do with elections, monetarily, publicly. She needs to be as far away from the Democratic Party as possible if you even want a chance. But, again, this is the DNC we're talking about. Not only are they incompetent, but they are brazenly corrupt. So, why should we ever expect them to do the right thing? Or even the logical thing? Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.